Knowledge 18. I had a thought which I wanted to share. It is important for Muslims who study Islamic teachings to avoid an attitude which prevents them from benefiting from their studying. This is when one studies Islamic teachings with purely an academic attitude. The academic attitude is observed in those who pursue worldly knowledge and research. The worldly knowledge these students gain does not influence the way they live and interact with Allah, the Exalted, or the Creation. It is a purely academic study which has no bearing on the student's everyday life, behavior, and attitude. This can occur in students of Islamic knowledge also. They become fascinated by the knowledge they gain, but fail to understand the lessons and morals behind the knowledge and therefore the knowledge fails to mold their character, behavior, and life in a positive way whereby they increase their sincere obedience to Allah, the Exalted, which involves using the blessings one has been granted in ways pleasing to Him. And their knowledge fails to encourage them to fulfill the rights of people, the least of which is to treat others how one desires to be treated by people. Approaching Islamic studies in a purely academic way may increase a person's knowledge, but it will not mold their character in a positive way. This makes the knowledge they have gained fruitless. Chapter 62 al Jumu'ah, verse 5 And then did not take it on, did not act on their knowledge, is like that of a donkey who carries volumes of books. One must always bear in mind that their purpose and intention to study Islamic teachings should be to improve their behavior towards Allah, the Exalted, and people. If this does not occur, then they are not on the right path and are therefore far from right guidance. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.